You guys want to see a magic trick? See, we got a broom. Uh, I can't believe I just did that. What's up everybody, I'm Marx here and welcome back to another video. All right, so using a broom is now a trend. <laughs> Don't ask me why, ask NASA, they know everything. So TikTok, the beloved app we all love, started a trend where apparently people are claiming that NASA told everybody on Twitter and TikTok and all that where uh, you could take a broomstick, you could stand it up and it'll stand up only because of its gravitational pull and uh, <laughs> Are you people that gullible? I mean, yeah, there are worse trends out there. Like in 2012, apparently there was, uh, of course, the cinnamon challenge. You know, that challenge where you take a spoon of cinnamon in your mouth and you cough it up like an idiot. Or, of course, the ice and salt challenge where you put it on your arm and boom, you, it burns and hurts. But um, why do people on the Twitter platform or just any platform, it's like... Just because like someone claims something on the internet doesn't mean it's exactly true. But hey, what can I say? At least we wanted to hurt ourselves instead of uh, being super gullible. Alrighty, I have actually found the tweet that has started this whole trend and I am going to read it out loud to you right now. And the tweet says, Okay, so NASA said today was the only day a broom can stand up on its own because of the gravitational pull. I didn't believe it at first, but oh my god. And then the video. Alright y'all. So NASA said, today is the day, the only day that your broom can stand up on its own and watch this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, no streets, nothing. What? This is proof that us as a human race has just like fallen off. <laughs> So this tweet was made by MK or Michaela, you know, with a lot of A's. She made a second tweet uh, saying that uh, the broom's been standing for 45 minutes. Oh my God, guys, mind freak, mind freak. <laughs> I do understand that this is all just probably a joke, at least I hope so, but uh, with some of these people's reactions on the Twitter threads, uh, it doesn't look like some of these people are thinking it's a joke. Some people are believing that the gravitational pull is pulling this broomstick up. Yo, I did not believe it at first. That's crazy. Wow. Time to see if this shit actually worked. Let's see. Well, what the? Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> oh, y'all see this shit? Oh, hell. Nah. This bitch standing up by itself. Gullible people. Gullible people. Why is there so many gullible people? Hey, though, I'll give it props. It did impress a lot of people. And not only that, it's a completely harmless trend. I will give it that. It is 100% harmless. This goes to show that trends are just unpredictable at its bet finest because most of us didn't know that people would pick a broomstick as a trend. I mean, honestly. But wait, guys, I know what the next trend is going to be very soon. Since Valentine's Day is about to come up really soon, uh, this dustpan, right? We're going to do the dustpan challenge. You see? You see this dustpan? If you look at it very closely, it kind of looks like a heart. So on Valentine's Day, on this new trend, what we're going to do is... We're gonna take this pan and we're gonna shape it into a heart. All right, okay. So first, in order to do this, only on Valentine's Day, you can get it to stand up. Fuck, that didn't work. Um, unfortunately for this trend, you gotta leave it here for a couple days. I about two to three business days right before Valentine's Day. Right now, it does not look like a um, heart. It looks like a chisel, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait and Hopefully, by Valentine's Day, the whole thing will be into a heart. All right, everybody, that will conclude for today's video. This was an interesting little quick video. Not very many people are talking about the uh, broomstick challenge or anything like that, and I thought it was a little interesting, so I thought I'd talk about it. If you guys are new here and you guys like my commentary videos, please go check out the rest. I will greatly appreciate that. My Twitter and Facebook and all of that will be down in the description below. Also, I do have a Patreon. I, I'm just putting it there. Um, if you want to support it, go ahead, but you don't have to. And yeah, that will be it. To all the subscribers, if you get this far into the video, make sure you comment down hashtag NASA is dumb on the comment section below. <laughs> that would be, be kind of funny. Peace out, everybody.